Mm. Hi guys. Uh, here's an interesting little circuit. Uh, this I'm using an external power source, around about 11 and a half volts coming from that power supply over here. And I've got a, um, a 7805 on a, a 5 volt regulator. And I've got a 5k adjustable resistor there. And it's the normal sort of layout for a um, you know, for a 5 volt regulator for any of the three pin regulators, the LM78i um, uh, series, <coughs> 7 8 series. So, but what I've done instead of this having to do all the work and be heat sunk, um, I've put on basically a pass transistor. And I've connected this up, I've connected the base of this transistor, which is this, to the output, the output pin, um, before its final little um, uh, capacitor. I've connected that to the output pin, and then on the input pin, I've connected that to the collector. of this um, is that right? yeah so that's my base that's my meter this is my collector and this I'm just checking that my output pin is collect is connected to here. Um, um, what it does is instead of the amps or the amperage, the voltage still goes through this regulator, but the amperage sort of it goes through this instead. And this is a two N um, twenty fifty five. Or 3055, sorry, which means it can have a lot more voltage. If I just turn it on, and that's oh, that's a bit bright, that's why that I didn't put the it's just an array of LEDs basically. Um, I did have this on there, and I let it pull three amps, um, but it does tend to get warm. You need to have a heat sink on this, especially with your. You know, trying to um, you know, pull this sort of amp resisting or pull. This is a car 55 watt headlamp bulb. It's so I can, you know, really get it going, but it makes it glow red inside. But I've restricted it, and of course, because like I say, there's no heat sink on here. Oh, and I just pulled the wire off, and I've already got these little tiny hookup wires as well, uh, connecting those things together. So basically, yeah, you can. You build yourself a little um, little fixed regulator. Now you can do this with the LM317 as well, but of course it's a different pin and that's not done here. This is just for a, um, a fixed voltage regulator. And I can, because you can put like, I think it's up to like 35 volts or something into this regulator, depending on the power that I put in, depending on how much um, variation I have on there, but the nice thing about it is you do have a variation and secondly you can you can pull some amps through it because this thing I think is I think it's up to 15 amps uh, peak something like that 10 amps and so from what I can understand is really you can you can have yourself a bit of a 10 amp power supply so yeah They call it a, uh, a pass transistor, and that can deal with all your rampage. Just got to put a heat sink on it, and that's just the uh, the setup for a uh, a voltage regulator. Seven point two volts. 
I can adjust that from here and go down the voltage and of course then my the amperage that I'm using is less and less uh, or you can go back up the voltage one half an amp I think I've limited it to an amp there we go it's, uh, I've got no more adjustment left here because that's 11 that's yeah because we're going to lose a, a few volts maybe 4 volts across the regulator so I'd have to give it some more input if I wanted to take it up higher uh, but yeah so you can use your, your standard fixed voltage regulator um, as a variable um, regulator and you can bypass the 1.5 amp limit by putting a pass transistor on on the input and on the output um, and yeah the emitter side of this uh, just goes to your output that's what you connect the load to collector side goes to the input where your input where, where your input power goes in to the regulator hook onto your uh, onto your collector there as well and the output of the regulator just hook it onto the base and you just use your normal ground and the emitter and you have yourself here a lot more higher powered variable but fixed voltage regulated power supply that's all good cheers for watching